hello, welcome to this session, a session that is aimed at seeing the double animal identities. We are going to see how they come up, how they are proven, and probably how they are used. From compound angles of sine of two angles added together, cosine of two different angles added together, and the tangent, we saw that the sine of say angle A plus angle B got sine of A cos of B. The sine is always maintained for sine ratio plus cos of A sine of b again when you went to cos by the before going to cos look at this when you look at this expression if a time happens when a is equal to b if these two angles are equal it implies instead of having a plus b we shall have either b plus b or a plus a so we shall have sine of a plus a, now equivalent to, look back at this. Where there is b now, we shall substitute with a. Where there is b, we shall put, we shall put an a. So we shall have sine of a cos a plus cos a sine a. When you look at this, and this, sine a cos of a and cos of a sine a, they are practically the same. They are identical. So what we do, it is two times of sine a cos of a because sine appears twice and cosine appears twice in a sum expression. So when you have this, you can possibly now say that the sine of twice of angle a will be two sine of a cos of a. So wherever you talk about the double angle expression for a sine ratio, is sine 2 of any angle here, it may not be A, it may be theta, it may be alpha, or any other angle, is twice of the sine here and the cosine of the same angle, written here. This is for sine in particular. Still, when we are talking about compound angles, we say for cos of two the sum of two different angles, the expression was cos of A, cos of B. If this is positive, the sign changes for a cosine ratio to have an A, a negative, minus sine A, sine of B. If the same happens here, because you are looking about, we are talking about double angles now. So if A happens to be equal to B, so we shall have cos of a plus a equivalent to, when you look at here, we shall have cos of a. Instead of cos of b now, it becomes cos of a as well. Cos of a minus sine of a, sine of a. Instead of sine, because b, we say it is the same as, the same as a. So we shall have cos of twice angle a giving us the cos squared of a because cos times a cos you get a cos squared minus sine squared of a now there is a special feature with a cos to a it is cos squared of a minus sine squared a however you remember when you're doing the Pythagoras theorem we said that cos squared of a, any angle, let me choose a now, plus the sine squared of the same angle, the angle must be the same for this to stand. So sine squared of the same angle is always equal to 1. This is proven using the Pythagoras theorem on that triangle that you saw. 
When you look at this and this, it is so interesting. Because in this, cos squared of a is 1 minus sine squared a. When you look at this, try substituting it where there is a cos squared in the equation that is for double angle of 2a. So we shall have cos of 2a giving us, instead of cos squared, write 1 minus sine squared a because it is its equivalence, in other words. So we shall have 1 minus sine squared a minus sine squared a. When you look at this, it is minus sine squared a minus sine squared a. So we shall have cos of 2a giving us 1 minus twice sine squared of a. I told you cos 2a is a special trigonometric correction because it has more than two expressions as regards the angle. This was the first one. This has been the second one. We are yet to see the third one. You can name this one the first equation for the third equation for the double angle for, for the sign. When you look at this, there is something that you've not now done. Go back to this expression where you see it from Pythagoras theorem, the cos squared of any angle plus the sine squared of the same angle, the angle must be the same, is always one. So now make sine squared in the subject. After making the subject, substitute it where the sine squared in the first expression that you got for cos, for cos of 2a. So from assuming this was equation, one like that. So from one, we shall have sine squared a giving us one minus cos squared of a. When you have this, substitute this where there is sine squared a in the expression for cos of two a. We shall have cos two a giving us cos squared a. Minus, instead of writing sine squared a, now put the expression of sine squared a in terms of cos. So we shall have minus, since this is a negative, you create this bracket to respect the negative sign that is written here. 1 minus cos squared a. So when you remove this bracket, the negative changes this into a positive. So we shall have cos squared a minus 1 plus cos squared of a. You have cos squared a minus, but it is plus cos squared a. So we have twice of cos squared a minus 1 minus 1. That is equal to cos of 2a. I told you the cos of 2a is a special expression because it has more than 2 expressions in line with double angle. The first one was this, the second one is this, and the third one is this. So it can be expressed in terms of sine as well as in terms of co in terms of cos. After seeing the double angle expression for sine to a and cos of 2a, now we want to see what about tan to a. For tan to a we can get it in two different ways. The first way is to respect the ratio that it is tan is normally sine divided by a cosine. Or you can do it just like you've been doing here and you say for tan of a plus b from compound angles it is tan of a plus tan of b divided by 1 minus tan a tan of b. If we maintain a stand that a equals b even in this sense, so that we can create twice of one of the angles. And we say if a equals b in this sense, so we shall have tan of a plus a giving us tan of a plus 
tan of V. Instead of V now, we write an F. Tan of F. Divided by 1 minus tan F. Tan F. So this one becomes tan of 2A after adding A plus A, giving us twice of tan A. This is tan A plus tan A. We get two times of two times of tan A. Divided by 1 minus tan squared, tan squared A. Wherever you're looking for the expression for the double angle in line with tangent, you say tan 2A is always that. However, we can always have this by dividing the sine 2A divided by the cos of 2A. We practically come up with the same answer. I'm wrapping your face. So we shall have for tan alternatively for tan we can say tan of 2a is the same as sine of 2a out of cosine of 2a. So we've seen that the sine of 2a is 2 sine a cos of a divided by the cos of a which is cos squared a minus sine squared a. So when you have this and look at this, what you have here, we want to realize a term. If we want to realize a term, we normally say sine of a cos, sine of a cos. So if you have this, divide it through. Divide through by cos squared. Cos squared by both the numerator and the you know, the denominator. So we shall have two. When you divide this one by the numerator, the cos one cos will cancel with one cos and we mean with sine over cos over cos. So we shall have a tan, a tan a. When you divide cos squared here, you shall remain with one. Minus sine squared divided by cos squared, you shall automatically have tan squared. Of a, and you will have gotten the expression of tan 2a in line with the double angle using the ratio, the tangent ratio. Now, practically, that is what you can talk about when you say double angles of sine, cos, and tangent. However, if someone asked you this, if someone told you to find this, what would you say? Let's assume someone has told you to find, maybe someone say, find the expression for cos 3a. If someone asked you that, how would you say? Would you say that one is a triple angle? Would you call it something else? Remember, from double angle, you can realize this using the same information and knowledge from compound angles. So, so what you do in your solution to find the next question, I'm doing this, I'm giving you some, so something else that you will do. So, uh, the cos of 3a is exactly the same as cos of a plus 2a. When you look at this, express this one like you do with compound angles. So we shall have cos of a, cos of 2a, then, since this is plus, it becomes a, a minus, sine of a, sine 2a. Now, we are looking for the expression for cos of 3a. Make sure that you eliminate the signs within the work that you're having. If that is the case, we shall have cos of a. What is cos of 2a? In line with the sine, or in relation with the sine, sorry, in relation with the cos. If it is a cos expression we are looking for, putting everything here in terms of cos. So, cos of 2a in terms of cos is 
2 cos squared a minus 1. We still have it there. Then, minus, what is sine 2a in line with? With cos. Oh, you may just write the expression for sine 2a that we got at first. And you say you have now sine a into 2 sine a cos a. This one is an expression for sine 2a. Push on. So you have, open this bracket, 2 cos cubed of a. Now it's cos a times 2 cos squared. Then you get 2 cos cubed of a. Minus cos of a. After having this, do the same thing. So you have minus 2 sine squared of a. Sine a times sine a, you get sine squared. But there is a 2 here that multiplies this. Then you have cos a. After writing this, ask yourself, how do I remove this? Do you remember the Pythagorean theorem that we say it is not here, I wrap it off. We say um, sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a from Pythagorean theorem. So this implies we shall have 2 cos squared cos cubed of a minus cos of a minus instead of this now we are substituting it for this because you are looking for an identity of cosine so we shall have minus 2 into 1 minus cos squared a representing this only then times cos of a out which this one after having this then you have the answer now because everything is in cos so we say it is 2 cos cubed of a minus cos of a, then minus, this two multiplies a cos. So we have 2 cos of a, cos a times 1, you get cos a times negative 2, you get this. Then, this times this, you get a plus. A plus. Remember, there is cos a that multiplies this as well. So we shall have 2 cos cubed of a. When you look at cubed, they are 2. So when you get this plus this, you end up getting 4 cos cubed of a minus, these are 3, 3 cos of a. In simple terms, this is the expression for cos of 3a. Now the task is, you're going to find the expression for sine 3a and tan of 3a. This is your task now. This is your task. Find the expression expressions for the following ratios. One is sine three theta and two is tan three theta. After doing this, try this one as well. This is one. Do this as the second one. If sine theta equals 3 over 4, let us make 5. Find Roman 1, sine 2 theta, Roman 2, cos 2 theta, and Roman 3, tan 2 theta. You find these answers in the description of this video. So you mark yourself and find out where your answers are right or wrong. Always endeavor to make sure that you comment regarding what you've not understood in such videos. Otherwise, thank you so much.